I don't carry a textbook to class. I've been carrying my iPad the last two years. As you can see, I've created these educational files. These are apps within my iPad. And all my textbooks that I teach for the class, and this is Course Smarter, and we all have access to Course Smart. And I love reading, especially when I'm traveling or this is my juvenile delinquency book. I can go in, I can bookmark items, I can uh, send a, a section or email a section of the, of the book uh, to a student or a note. So uh, I love uh, Course Smart, and that's a, an item that I use in the class. Uh, how many people use Teachers Kit? Love it, uh, especially when it's time. What is it? Uh, especially when it's time to do those Q grades and you want the, you want the count. So you can see the numbers with my students uh, and add to show me how you can download it from Blackboard and upload it into Teachers Kit. Very easy to do. So I love it. They, they still do a sign in roster, but this is a quick reference when you have a student who really wants to know how many days that they miss and you can create these classrooms. I only keep my thumb drive around for an emergency, but pretty much my Dropbox is my life. I move this, these little circles around mm. with my hand. Like I said, it's, it's new. I just started playing with it. You can actually see. I gotta stand back because it wants to You can actually control your desktop just from here. Uh, uh, you, there's an app. You can, I can go down. Okay, I like this article. Let's talk about Germany. Okay, let's go up, and we'll go. We'll, we can talk about those things with the class. Okay. And they make comments. I told them to be honest. And a lot of them say, Professor White talks too much. So by them telling me that told me I needed to use more engaging exercises and I found out that they're they're very very uh, visual. I use SlideShark. How many of y'all familiar with SlideShark? Nice app. Um, I only use it if, if someone really needs to log on. It's clean. There's not a lot of issues. Uh, they can get in and look at your PowerPoint. You can show them. You can just take one and drop it over. So I do use that. Okay. Anybody ever use Flipboard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like Flipboard, especially for my topic. I teach uh, criminal justice, so Flipboard is very important. I created um, my own flip page where I have uh, like a law enforcement page for me in Flipboard. As you can see, I have law enforcement, teen criminals, and I use this. And when I bring it up, we talk about current events for the day. And we'll go over, we'll discuss them, and now I break them up in groups and, and say, hey, tell me what this article means. And, and it's neat. It gets their attention. It's live. It's not old information for the student. So they really love uh, Flipboard. Anybody ever use Notability? I love Notability. Uh, take a lot of notes. And sometimes if I'm at a meeting and Laura can't make it, I'll, I can email it to her right before I leave. So you can create, up, create all these folders. So Notability is a, another uh, nice one. Anybody ever use Print Central? You can print a document if you're in a hurry. It will be at your home waiting for you. And I use this Print Central application. So it's a really, really uh, another good application. Especially when you say, oh man, it's a lot of files. I want to have it there when I get home. So I use the, uh, the Print Central app. I use this one. It's a portable scanner. Love it. Uh, if you take a picture on the spot, especially with the students, you get the document, you can sign it, and you can send it to anyone. Everybody ever use this particular one? This camp scanner? Okay. Your, your, your portable office. Uh, a little bit of things that I do within my course, just to give you all I do. I use Crime Reports. It's an application. It's an app. Uh, and my students love it. They love putting their zip codes in. In the neighborhood, who's committing the crime? Uh, you, have, you, have, uh, you have registered sex offenders, you put in an alert. So, this is another application, and it pertains mainly to my class. You probably won't change it, nursing or English, but they, they love it. You put in, anybody want to put their address in? No, I guess not. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, sure. I don't know. Uh, you'd, be surprised, you'd be surprised who live next door to you. You, I, that's why I tell you. Let me click on that one. Click on that. Let's see. Who? 
Nice. They live at 981 Uniontown Road. They okay, two, that's, that's, that's the street over Yeah, but they're 2.74 miles from yeah. your home. Do you go for walks? Yes. Be careful. Yeah. Well, and my students love this. So we're an engaging piece, especially when I'm on the topic of sex offenders and all those goodies. What are the blue ones? I use my laptop because sometimes uh, the college's computer takes uh, maybe uh, the class to boot up. So I'll come in with my own. And if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of videos, I will bring my own little network because you never know how many people are actually on. And my student like, oh, there you go, Professor White, his technology stuff. We're going to be here all day. So <laughs> I, I had to start uh, bringing my own equipment. And what I like about Prezi, it can take you through a timeline of what happened. You can zoom in. These are the boys the over in England. They, they, my students loved it. Why did they? Why did they do it? These are about kids who had committed murders. I don't know if y'all remember this young man. He's yes. the youngest kid ever put on death row, yes. fourteen years of age. He yes. was executed. Okay. Now they're coming out to find out that possibly he didn't do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't do it at all. Mm -hmm. So my, I have to make my class very topical. But my goal in my class is to start an argument. I haven't had a successful <laughs> lecture if my students didn't argue with one another. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, I, and, I, and I play this. And, it, and the reason why I like Prezi, my friend, <laughs> if you use YouTube in a regular PowerPoint presentation, it'll take you out of your PowerPoint. Prezi's not going to take you out. It's going to keep you right there. It's going to be clean. It's going to come over perfect. I am a Prezi person. You would think I work for well, Prezi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, you had trouble with Prezi. Who had trouble with Prezi? You know why y'all had trouble with Prezi? Because you, 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 Prezi is time consuming, Bill. Yeah, it is. But you, you can't let it get to you. <laughs> Don't let it get to you. I love Prezi. Okay. Um, I think Mona and Ed and Barbara were in my class when I did this particular presentation. This is this is this is the one that re really got my class attention, and I broke them down into groups. Is it the day before that I checked to see if it's still on there? Yeah. I was, look, I got home late last night after my late class. I said, let me check to see if my is okay. It was missing. The video was was down. So I said, you know, I need to insert. But here's this sad story about these kids from Chicago. I didn't know it was that bad. I know it's bad. I mean, I come from labeling broken windows, they're all broken down by chapters. So I, I try to find out what works best. And I can tell you, one of my classes really love this. Um, what is it, soccer team? How many of y'all use that one? They, they love it when I use this, um, this one in the class. Uh, please enter a quiz. Space, space race will automatically assign colors. And you, the students can actually see themselves moving in, in their progress. So I use the space race. They, they wonderful. Um, what did I learn from this whole thing? That you have to choose the, the right technology for the right subject in the class. But I'm also conscious of uh, their reaction to the technology that I use. If I get the feeling that the student don't like it, then it's not good. Um, what I learned from a, a lot of the assessments and that I could wish I could do better is more uh, mastering uh, the cooperative education piece where the students are working together. So that's something I'm really working on.